Many a time, a scout's life depends upon his being able to read signs quick. Do you ever see three blazes on a tree like that? It means danger. Stop where you are. But falls there ain't no trees, Kit. <laughs> Why, then look for three of anything. Three tufts of grass or three stones piled one on top of another. Like this. Oh, there he is. Uh, Carson. Oh. Come in, Colonel. Now, remember what I told you. Be sure that you are right, then go ahead. I've been trying to convince Mr. Elliott that your plan is best, but he insists that you start at once without further delay. Mr. Elliott, you folks back east have no idea what lies beyond this frontier. You don't know the risk in transporting that much gold through a wilderness full of outlaws and bloodthirsty Indians. But, gentlemen, you don't realize how important it is that that gold reaches the Pacific fleet. The movement is seriously hampered. All the more reason, Mr. Elliot, that we should make sure that the gold gets through safely. That's the reason I want to wait for Jim Bridge and his wagon train. He has men with him that I can depend upon in case of trouble. But there are plenty of woodsmen, trappers here who I Maybe. can be. But there is only a handful of scouts that I can rely upon. The rest of them are men I don't know. You'll have to take them. The Treasury Department has ordered me to rush this shipment through. It's got to leave today. Very well. I'll get Fargo and start things moving. You wait here. Well, everything's all set, Carson. We're ready to start as soon as Jim Bridge shows up with the wagon train. We are not waiting for the wagon train, Fargo. We are leaving today. What, just the five of us? Why, we wouldn't have a Chinaman's chance of getting through. Mr. Elliot has hired a bunch of riders to go along with us. Well, why not let him take the gold if he knows so much about it? Those are the orders, boys. You better start packing some more supplies, Fargo. Dean, you look after the ammunition. The rest of you fellas see that the horses are watered and fed. Carson's on the way with the gold. Already? Yeah, he didn't wait for the wagon train. Ah, that makes things much easier. All we've got to do now is have the Indians take care of Carson. And Reynolds will have no trouble in carrying out his orders. Ah. Did you ever stop to think what that much gold would mean to a man in this country, Chuck? It means power, man. Power to carry out my plans. And with the grip that I already have on the fur trade of this country, I'd soon be master of the entire Southwest. You mean we'll be masters of the entire Southwest? Why, of course. Of course. That goes without saying, Chuck. Yeah. We've got to get that gold. Carson, 
Something must be far ahead of us. We haven't passed one of his signs for hours. Suppose anything could have happened to him? A lot of Indians around these hills. To me, as if our friend Carson had deserted us. Yeah. I don't like the way you said that, Reynolds. If there is danger, Carson will come back here to share it with us. Look, a smoke signal. Carson spotted Indians. He says they're headed this way. Prepare for an attack. Get that gold in that draw. Things go against us. I'll try and get it out the back way. Don't worry, we'll send them off. Good luck, boys. Here they come now. This is our chance. Everything go all right? No. I've got bad news. The gold's gone. Gone? You mean the curse not smarted you? No, but the scout got wise to it. While we were finishing them off, Fargo got away with the gold. And you didn't follow him? We followed his trail to water. Before we could find it again, the rain came and wiped out his trap. Yeah. Well, that means that Fargo's probably hidden the gold somewhere and... Gone back to the army post to report. Get back there and stop it. And then it started to rain. And after the rain had washed away the track, I realized it was useless to continue the search. So I came back here to report. What makes you so sure they weren't killed by Indians? I know the signs too well, Colonel. It was the work of white men. That's a lie. 
Parsons told us out to the Redskins. Rim, very fast. He led us into an ambush so he could wipe us all out and then steal the gold ship. Why, you low down? Huh. You'd like to kill me, too, so that I can't tell how you murdered the others. You lie, Reynolds. Colonel, you know I didn't want to start out with men like this. Men I couldn't trust. It's not in reason, Carson, that this man should bring such grave charges against you without foundation. I have no choice but to hold you for trial on charges of murder and treason. Glad to see you. Where's my little girl, Joan? I sure thought she'd come a-running to meet her old dad. Oh, Fargo, I've got some bad news for you. Your daughter backed out at the last minute. Said she didn't care enough about her daddy to make such a long trip just to see me. You're a-breaking my heart, Jim Bridge. I'd give a thousand dollars if I could see my little gal right now. We shoot men for less than that, where I come from, Jim Bridge. Don't shoot, partner. I didn't mean you no harm. Well, which way'd the election go, Jim? Harrison's our next president. You yes. don't say. Carson. Why, what the... Yes, Carson's in jail for us. Why? Oh, Jim. Why, Chip, you old chatter... What are they trying to do to you? Please, can you tell me where to find Matt Fargo? Matt Fargo? Why, he's one of the men that went out with Kit Carson's pack train. Oh, thank you. Now that I've had time to think it over... I feel sure that Reynolds and some of the other men stole the gold. Strange you didn't find Fargo's body. That's what puzzles me. You don't suppose he was a-working with them, too? I'd stake my life on Matt Fargo. Look out, here comes his daughter. Oh, Mr. Bridge, I just found Daddy's gone. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Carson was just telling me. Carson? Why, the man said Daddy went away with you. Yes, uh, <clears throat> that is, we, we, we started out together. Then why didn't he come back with you? Well, you see. Has something happened to Daddy? Uh, uh, uh your father's missing, Joan, but, uh... Missing? You mean he's dead? I'll never see him again. <laughs> there. Nothing has happened to your dad. Where you find him, Joan? The wagon train's going right into the country where he disappeared. <laughs> I'll organize a scout party, and we won't quit the second till we find him. And I'm going to meet him. You can't go into that wilderness, Joan. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Can't stand this, Jim. I've got to get out of here and find Fargo and the gold. I'll get you out of there if I have to blow up the jail. Thanks, Jim. But I can work it out myself. Have you got a gold piece? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess so.
Mystery Riders. I've heard that song before. Mystery Riders? Who are they? Whoever they are, they must be kin to the very devil. Many a pioneer home has been left blazing in their trail. They're heading our way. What do you suppose they want? I don't know. But if it's trouble, they are going to get it. Did you see that? He's signaling. Nothing to fear. I'll tell him to come ahead. But you boys keep your guns ready because this may be a trick. We're looking for Kit Carson. And we've a pretty good idea that he's with your wagon train. Well, what do you want with him? That's our business. Well, Carson ain't here. Well, we're not taking your words for it. Oh, no. Steady, Jim. It ain't worth fighting over. All right. Go ahead and search if you want to. Got you covered, Carson. Come out of there. You know, my boy acts like a little fraidy cat when he's scared. Johnny, get up front there where you belong. Didn't I tell you we didn't want no girls on this trip? Girl? I'm your boy. My name's Johnny. All right. You're Johnny. I don't know. But from what I've heard, it's a good thing that Carson is safe behind prison bars where they can't reach him. Well, greetings, Dark Eagle. Oh, glad to see you. Got some news for you. Come into my office. Dark Eagle, have you heard that Jim Bridge is leading a wagon train through your country? My scouts have brought me word of it. Oh, and, uh, and you're not going to do anything to stop it? Why should I do anything? The Cheyennes are at peace with their white brothers. And how the white men repaid your friendship? Look what has happened to the other tribes as the settlers came farther and farther into the west. Are you going to let them come in and drive you out? You, a white man, are telling me to make war against your own people? Yes, for your own good. So you are the traitor who is stirring up the Indians against the whites. Why shouldn't I? Why should I let the settlers come in here and drive the Indians out and ruin my fur business? My tribe will not make war for you, so you can have the fur trade to yourself. Doc Hingle, your warriors are going to wipe out that wagon train, and you're going to make them do it. Never. No? Ah. Right, Reynolds. I don't know what to do.
Take me, Ma! Something has happened to my father. The blood is still fresh. The pony has not run far. My father's been attacked by enemies. We follow his trail. Stabbed in the back. Your chief who taught you to love and trust the white man. But the trail of his murderers is clear. Blood cries out for vengeance. Death to the white man. Well done, brother. There's no danger as long as we're in the Cheyenne country. Dark Eagle is the white man's friend. Just the same. Don't you think we better make that youngster stick closer to the wagons? Hey! What do you think you are? A Pony Express rider?
You hide here. I'm going back to help the others. But you'll be killed! Stand up, pale faces! Another wagon train that'll never get through. Pretty smart. Making the Indians believe the wagon train killed their chief. What's the meaning of this, Nokomis? Why have the Cheyennes broken their promise not to make war on the whites? These pale faces have murdered my father. Well, that can't be. I know all these men. There must be some mistake. We found my father's body lying where the wagons had just passed. Why, that doesn't prove that they killed him. But I know Nokomis, that... Nokomis, your people called me their white chief. They know that I won't lie to them. If you let these people go, I'll promise to help to track down your father's murderer. Come, Nokomis. Send your braves back to the village and let us take the trail together. Return to camp. The blood of your father cries out for vengeance. I will avenge him in my own way. Go! You've nothing more to fear from the Indians. Kraft's trading post is just ahead. Good luck, boys. We're much obliged to you, Carson. Well, Johnny, you better get your horse. We got to get started. Come on, men. Let's get this wagon. This one over here first.
this is where you and your warriors found the body of your father? And that made you believe the settlers on the wagon train killed him? You didn't look for any other signs? Other signs? Mm-hmm. A piece of fresh cut rope. Three horses came this way, one of them unshod. That would be my father's horse. You and your warriors followed the wrong trail. The two shod horses turned back that way. Exactly. It looks to me like your father's dead body was brought here by two men who rode away again. But ain't these settlers coming in here going to hurt you for our business, Mr. Kraft? Well, possibly. But we ought not take a selfish view of these things. Settlers mean progress. And I am for anything that will develop this country for, for the good of all. If we had more men like you, Mr. Kraft, our country would be a whole lot better off. <laughs> Thanks, boys, but I just believe in a square deal for everybody. Now, refreshments are on the house. Set them up for everybody, Morgan. Well, when we left, the Indians were sure making a good job of it. That's fine. Now we're going to get our hands on Fargo and the gold. No news yet, boss? No, but he can't get away. Sooner or later, starvation will drive him out from where we're hiding. Howdy, stranger. What do you have? I want to get some supplies for a trip. A rifle and some ammunition. We don't grub stake, strangers. Well, I can pay. Oh, my mistake, partner. I'll fix you up right away. Say, how about some blankets? Need any? Yes, I can use them. Well? Fargo's outside. Fargo? You sure? Yes, and he's buying grub and a gun. <laughs> what did I tell you? Walk right into our hands, eh? <laughs> and now we'll make him tell us where the gold is, and then I'll make myself master of the Southwest. Come on, let's get him. Wait, the fool's not there. You don't want to do anything to arouse suspicion. Wait till he gets away, and then take him to the hideout and lock him up. I'll make him tell us where the gold is later. I'm not going to argue any longer with you, Fargo. You're either going to tell me where you hid that gold, or... Oh, go on and kill me. And then you'll never know. That gold belongs to the government. And there's only one man that I'm going to tell where I hid it. And that's Kit Carson. He was in charge of that pack train. And he's got a right to know. Carson can't help you any if that's what you're figuring on. My men killed him. Carson? Dead? I don't believe you. Yeah? There's another one of his tricks to make me talk. Yeah, you'll change your mind after you've been here a while. Who is it? It's Reynolds. I've got big news. Morgan just sent word over from the trading post. There's a boy there that says he's Johnny Fargo. Fargo? Yeah. And he's looking for his father. Oh, the old man Sonny. <laughs> yeah, I guess he'll tell me where he hid the gold. <laughs> Matt Fargo's boy. Mr. Kraft? Yes? The men told me you could help me find my daddy. Why, of course I can. And I'll be mighty happy to, Sonny. Uh, tell me, you come here alone? I came with the wagon train. Wagon train? We were mighty lucky to get here, too. The Indians attacked us, 
And we'd all have been killed if it hadn't been for Kit Carson. Oh. Mighty fine fellow, Kit Carson. My father's hunting knife. This is where they put him on the horse. There's no doubt about it. Your father was murdered somewhere around here. The mystery rider. Do you know them? They were bitter enemies of my father. They're coming this way, sure enough. We're in for it now. Yeah, I've heard of them. They're a bloodthirsty lot. I was an oak flats when they rode in and burned the town. No, I don't know what these men want. You better hide over here. What do you mean by coming in here like this? We trail Matt Fargo here. Where is he? Why, I don't know what you're talking about. Search the place, boys. Nothing here. Come out of there. We found this kid hiding in there. Who are you? Don't say a word. Keep out of this crap. You know what's good for you. We won't hurt you, Sonny, if you tell us the truth. What's your name? Johnny. Johnny Fargo. And that Fargo's boy, eh? You better come with us. They've got Fargo's little girl. Girl? Hmm. Yes. She's only dressed as a boy. We've got to help her somehow. We'll follow them to the death. Those outlaws get away with this. Reynolds, Chuck, take some of the boys and go after them. Send word back to me so that I can organize a posse and save that poor boy. Looks like they are heading for that pass. Somebody's following him. It's Carson and the young chief. This is our chance to put Carson out of the way. Three men pull out and make sure we haven't been followed.
He hasn't hurt bad. Jim, you better get up there and take care of him. Back to the path. And the Carson. Yeah. Now we can join up with the mystery riders. Nothing doing. We can't tell who might get wise. 
We'll follow them to the hideout. Are you hurt bad? No. But I thought I'd wake up in the happy hunting ground. <laughs> Are they still there? No, they've ridden away. Thought we were killed, I guess. Looks like we might be able to get up over there. Are you all right, kid? Sure is all right. Take a wilder horse than not to hurt him. That's the spirit. They leave a broad trail. It will be easy to follow them. Yes, but not too easy to get Johnny away from them. They think she's a boy, and that may help us a bit. Come, let's get our horses. He's waiting for you. What are you men doing here without your uniforms on? Uh, we had a little business in town. Uh-oh. Say, boss, it's a lucky thing you had us follow the riders. Carson was trailing them. Carson? Did he find out anything? No, he's dead. Are you sure? Absolutely. We caught him between us and the riders, and he went over a cliff. Good. Where's Fargo's boy? The boys have got him right outside the door. It was pretty smart the way you had the mystery riders come right into town and get him. Yeah. <laughs> No one will ever suspect now that I am their leader, eh? <laughs> well, now to make Fargo talk. <laughs> well, Fargo, ready to tell me why you hit that gold shipment? That gold belongs to the United States government. And I'm not going to let you steal it. You can kill me, but I won't tell you where it is. No? Not even if it means the life of your son? Son? I've got no son. Aren't you? You can't bluff me, Fargo. Bring in the boy. I don't know you. I got no son. This is a trick to try to make me tell where the gold is. But it won't work. Daddy, don't you know me? I'm Johnny. I don't know what your game is, but you'll get nothing out of me. There's only one man I'll tell where I hid that gold, and that's Kit Carson. He was in charge of that pack train, and he's got a right to know. Not your son, Fargo. Then he must be a spy. Eh, he's found out too much about us to let him go now. Oh, wait! Wait! Why, what's the matter, Fargo? Oh, you're, you're not going to hurt that boy! Well, why should you care? He's not your son. He's found out too much about us anyway, and we've got to shut his mouth. Oh, 
Oh, don't. Don't kill him. I'll tell you what you want to know. If you know me, save his life. Oh, please. Please bring him back. Tell him to bring the boy back. Bring him back. We're not taking any chances on you double-crossing us, Fargo. We're keeping your boy here until you've shown us where the goal is. The girl is not with them. Now is our chance to get her out of there before they get back. The entrance is well guarded. We'll have to find another way in. Catch hold. That must be where they have Johnny. There where the man with the rifle is standing guard. Your smells good. Nothing like a good buffalo steak. You burn that, I'll scalp you alive. Hey, ain't that grub ready yet? Come and get it or I'll throw it away. One of these is for the kid. Now, don't make any mistake and eat them both yourself.
Hey, look at Jake pile into that buffalo meat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame him, it's sure good. How long has this meat been hung? What do you care? Tastes good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, Jake! Want another hunt? Jake ain't up to his usual form today. They said they'd kill me if Daddy didn't show them where he hid the gold. And as soon as he does tell them, they'll kill him. He mustn't tell them. Please don't let him tell. The only way that we can stop him now is to show him that you're safe. Well... I suppose I've got to release Sandy so he can come and eat. What's the matter? Shh. There's one of them coming. Hey, quick! Something's happened to Jake! What's the matter? Is he sick? No, he's been knocked cold. That can't be. He was right where we could see him all the time. Well, just the same, I'm going to make sure everything's all right. You men look after Jake. I've got to let him in, or he'll suspect and call the others. You act like you're still a prisoner. Everything all right, Sandy? Come on. Break down the door.
down the door. Morgan got him. It's only Carson's coat, boys. Drop those guns. Get into that cell. Get in there, quick. You gotta move on you there. Wait. Here's one more. Good work, Nicomas. Run and get those horses. We're leaving here in a hurry. We'd follow the mystery riders? Yes, they've got Johnny's father. Don't you worry. We'll save him. Yes, but we've got to work fast, or those outlaws will force him to tell where he hid the government gold. Oh! What's the idea, Fargo? Trying to stall? No, I'm, I'm just trying to get my bearings. Look, smoke signal. Do you suppose the Indians have spotted us? Are you sure it will work? Don't worry. Your father and I have talked with smoke through many an Indian war. If he sees this signal, He'll understand what I'm trying to tell him. Well, Indians or no Indians, we can't stop here. Get gone, Fargo. I'm not taking any more orders from you. Oh, no? No. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to show you where the gold is. And you don't care what we do to your daughter. Oh, so you found out Johnny's a girl, eh? Yes, and if you don't tell us... You me. won't do anything to her. She's free. Kit Carson saved her. Carson? Why, you fool, Carson's dead. Oh, yeah? Well, that smoke signal tells me that he ain't. If that's true, I gotta tell Kraft right away. He's not far behind us. You take charge here till I get back. Where's Pratt? I gotta see him right away. What's going on now? Fargo's stolen. He says Carson's alive and has rescued his daughter. Daddy must have seen the signal. He'll be watching for us. Yes, and so will the mystery riders. We'll have to be doubly careful. You fool. All you have to do is follow the smoke signals to find Carson and the girl. Now leave a couple of men to guard Fargo and get busy. I'm getting sick of Reynolds and his slipshod ways. You and I will handle this thing alone. What are you going to do, boss? I'm going to make Fargo think that I'm his best friend. He'll be glad to tell me where the gold is. You mean you're going to double-cross the riders? Well, what about the two men who left guarding them? <laughs> you're going to help me take care of them. 
<laughs> yeah. You change your mind, Fargo, when you see the boys come riding in with Carson and your daughter. Yeah? Well, Carson's too smart for the whole lot of you. You thought you'd kill him once before. Fire first, and then lay low. Why, Mr. Kraft! Oh, then it was you who... Well, I... How did you know they were holding me prisoner? Well, Fargo. Yeah, I saw the mystery riders take you away, and I followed them. And when I saw you were left alone with only two of them, I, I saw my chance. I don't know how to thank you for... Ah, don't thank me. But those men are outlaws and ought to be killed. They're a menace to the country. Uh, tell me, why were they holding you? To make me show them where I hid the government gold. Gold? Oh, you mean the shipment that was lost when Kit Carson's pack train was wiped out? Yeah. Well, uh, what makes them think you know where it is? I was one of the pack trains. Oh. And when the men double-crossed Carson, I hid the gold to keep them from stealing it. I see. Uh, we'd better get out of here before the other men return. Later on, you and I can come back and recover the gold for the government. I'd like to get a hold of Kid Carson first. Yeah, so would I. I got a signal from him just now. He's somewhere around here. Yeah. Maybe we'll come across him. Uh, my horse is right over here. to tell the gang about this. They've got us hemmed in on three sides. Our only chance is to make a dash for the river. There they go! Don't be afraid. We'll make it together. I'm not afraid. With you. Don't shoot. You kill that girl, Kraft will murder the lot of us. Hey, look! What happened, Dave? No, oh, Kraft double-crossed us. Shot Rollins and me. Kraft? Shot his own men? Yeah. Pretended he's rescuing Fargo just to get on the right side of him. You hear that, boys? That means that Kraft is out to get the gold for himself. After we've done all the dirty work. Are we going to let him get away with it? No! Then we'll beat Kraft at his own game and get the gold for ourselves. You're crazy, Reynolds. Kraft's got other men besides us. We wouldn't stand a chance. We won't have to raise a hand. The Indians will do the job for us. The Indians? They've got nothing against Kraft. 
Yes, they have, only they don't know it. They'll hunt him to the ends of the earth when I tell them what I know. What are you driving at, Reynolds? I was in Kraft's office when the Indian chief called a scene. I had my orders from Kraft. And when I heard them coming, I ducked into the secret passageway to stand by for what I knew was going to happen. Have you heard that Jim Bridge is leading a wagon train through your country? My scouts have brought me word of it. Oh, and, uh, and you're not going to do anything to stop it? Why should I do anything? The Cheyennes are at peace with their white brothers. And how have the white men repaid your friendship? Look what has happened to the other tribes as the settlers came farther and farther into the West. Are you going to let them come in and drive you out? You, a white man, are telling me to make war against your own people? Yes, for your own good. So you are the traitor who is stirring up the Indians against the whites. Why shouldn't I? Why should I let the settlers come in here and drive the Indians out and ruin my fur business? My tribe will not make war for you, so you can have the fur trade to yourself. Dark Eagle? Your warriors are going to wipe out that wagon train, and you're going to make them do it. Never. No? Ah. All right, Reynolds. You know what to do. Stabbed in the back. Your chief who taught you to love and trust the white man. But the trail of his murderers is clear. Blood cries out for vengeance. Death to the white man. outnumbered, the Indians swarm down to massacre them. Now, if they do that to a bunch of innocent settlers, what do you suppose they'll do to Kraft when I tell them it was he who planned the murder of their chief? They'll do they plenty. Get 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 you can't get away with that. Why? Well, there's Carson now. And my daughter's with him. And thanks to my good friend, Mr. Kraft, I'm out of their clutches at last. Thank you, Mr. Kraft, for helping my daddy. Oh, 
I told you I'd find him for you, and I had to make good, didn't I? Well, we're going to get the gold out, Carson. Mr. Kraft's going to let us have his men in wagons. That's very kind of Mr. Kraft. But we're not going to trouble him. Why? That's no trouble at all, Carson. I, uh... I'm responsible to the government for that gold, Mr. Kraft. And after what's happened, I'm not going to move it without an escort of troops. Hmm. Well, you're right. The mystery writers will still be trying to get the gold. <laughs> but suppose something should happen to Fargo before he shows us where the gold is. I'm going to see to it that nothing happens to Fargo. Oh. They've got us hemmed in on three sides. Our only chance is to make a dash for the river. There they go. Don't be afraid. We'll make it together. I'm not afraid with you. Kill that girl, Kraft will murder the lot of them. Why? Well, there's Carson now. And my daughter's with him. And thanks to my good friend, Mr. Kraft, I'm out of their clutches at last. Thank you, Mr. Kraft, for helping my daddy. Oh, ha, ha. I told you I'd find him for you, and I had to make good, didn't I? Well, we're going to get the gold out, Carson. Mr. Kraft's going to let us have his men in wagons. That's very kind of Mr. Kraft. But we're not going to trouble him. Why? That's no trouble at all, Carson. I, uh... I'm responsible to the government for that gold, Mr. Kraft. And after what's happened... I'm not going to move it without an escort of troops. Hmm. Well, you're right. 
The mystery writers will still be trying to get the gold. <laughs> but suppose something should happen to Fargo before he shows us where the gold is. I'm going to see to it that nothing happens to Fargo. Oh. Is he badly hurt? No, thanks to you. <coughs> that belonged to my father. It was stolen from his body when he was murdered. You, you killed him. He's dead in a coma. The man's dying. You've got to make a clean breast of this. Why did you kill Dark Eagle? I had to kill him. The boss has ordered. The boss? Who is he? Come on, man, speak up. Why, well, this is your last chance to square yourself. You've nothing to fear. The boss can't harm you now. For I asked for this. It was... Too bad, Nicoma. But at least we are on the right trail. And we'll soon find the man who's responsible for your father's death. Why, that's one of the men that held me prisoner. You mean one of the Mr. Riders? Yes. Yeah. You're right, Nicoma. There is a connection between the Mr. Riders and the murder of your father. They told the truth, all right. It's Rollins, shot in the back. Kraft never gave him a chance. Shot him down in cold blood. Yeah, just to make Fargo believe he was rescuing him. Here goes the devil cross his trail. Come on, let's get it. Wait a minute. He doesn't know we're wise to him. He won't try to get away. Better not take any chances. Kraft's pretty smart. Four, you ride back to trading post and lay for him. We'll head for the trading post and... The mystery writers. They're after you, Fargo. Oh, Danny, we mustn't let them capture you again. It won't do them any good to get me. They can't make me tell where the gold's hid. Not unless they catch you, too. Then you two can separate. But Johnny can't travel far with that wounded shoulder. You stay with her, Nicomas, while we lead them off your trail. Then watch your chance to head back to the trading post. There's the double crosser now. And he's got Fargo and Carson with him. What's Kraft running away for? Do you suppose he suspects anything? No. He's just fooling Fargo and Carson. Well, he ain't fooling us. Come on. never get away from all those men. Don't worry. Carson will bring your father safely to the trading post. Come. do him any good. Well, I ain't leaving Carson. Then get under cover or we'll all get killed. Take cover, boys.
signaling us. He's playing right into our hands. Aha. Well done, boys. Well, Carson's finished and Parker's in there. Something hit him on the head, but he'll recover. <laughs> All right, some of you take him to the hideout and lock him up. The rest of you come with me and we'll go to the post and get the girl. What do you mean, Wade? Don't touch that gun. Oh. Well, that's your game, huh? Figuring on getting the gold for yourselves, eh? Yeah. You can't double-cross us and get away with it. You're through, Kraft. We know that you murdered Dave and Rollins just to make a play for Fargo. And what's more, we know it was you who killed the Cheyenne chief to stir the Indians up against the settlers. Well, what are you going to do about it? We're going to give you a taste of your own medicine. We'll let the Cheyennes do the dirty work for us. Hmm. You fools. How far do you think you'll get without me to lead you? No use arguing, Kraft. You're through. Take him away, boys. Ty Fargo on that other horse. On your horses, boys. Crafts in like he was a prisoner. It ain't as funny as you think. He's double crossed us. You don't say. And his share of the gold makes just that much more for us to divide. Well, how are we going to make Fargo tell where the gold is? That's easy. He'll talk when he knows we've got his daughter. She's on the way to the trading post now. And as soon as we lock these prisoners up, we're going in after her. Riders. Why, there's only four of them. Kit Carson and I followed the trail of my father's murder to that barn. That must be their headquarters. Bill, you look after the horses. Craft back yet? No. Anything wrong? Well, what could be wrong? I just came in to wait for orders. I'm going to find out what they're doing in there. You stay here. I'll just get closer to the barn so I can warn you if I see anyone coming. Sure, get the surprise of his life when. Uh... 
she saw Fargo's daughter outside the barn. She was over there. There she goes. Thank you. 
They mustn't get away. Bill, you look after the girl. They're behind those rocks. We've got you, Carson. Right away, Morgan, so I can shoot. Good work, Nicole. The mystery riders captured him and Kraft and took him to the rock hideout. Listen, the mystery riders. They're on the way to the trading post to get you, Johnny. Now is our chance to rescue Kraft and you before the riders get back to the hideout. This fellow's uniform may come in handy. One man on guard at the entrance. We don't know how many there may be inside. That's your job. I can see their camp from the top of that ridge. I'll go up there and signal you how many men I see. Don't you worry. We'll have your father and Kraft out of there before long. Carson won't leave us in the lurch. He'll find some way to get us out of here. I'm sure of it. But even though he brings all my men from the trading post, there's bound to be lots of shooting. Well, you and I stand a pretty good chance of getting hit, maybe killed. Why, oh, I, I never thought of that. Why, oh, I, I wish I'd told Carson where I'd hid the gold. Uh, just in case anything should happen to me. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh. What's the matter, Fargo? Oh, my old heart's acted up again. I guess the excitement is too much for an old war horse like me. Well, I'm bothered that way at times myself. I always carry a little heart stimulant with me. Here, drink some of this. Do you think it'll help me? Well, it, it's been a great help to me, more than once. There's a signal. We are in luck. Nakoma says there's only one other guard inside. Is it any better, Fargo? No, no. 
no, it seems to be getting worse. I'm worried, Kraft. That gold's on my mind. If anything should happen to me, I... Well, perhaps you'd better tell me where it's hid. That is, if you feel that you can trust me. Well, well of course I trust you, Kraft. Didn't you save my life? Well, if anything should happen to me, you tell Carson that the gold is in the cave at the foot of Iron Mountain, just beyond the gulch. The boys, they're looking. Carson! Look. Carson. You've come too late. Fargo. I'm sorry, little one, but your daddy's had a bad spell. I guess they treated him pretty rough. I did all I could for him, but, uh... Daddy! <laughs> Poor girl. There, there, Johnny. He wouldn't want to grieve, though. But he was all I had in the world, and they killed him. I'll find the man responsible for this. This is the last thing I do. Have you any idea who he is? No, but I'll find out. I found where his men go to meet him. Where? In a barn near the trading post. Well, then we have no time to lose. We must get to the trading post at once. I'm sure that Miss Carter will take good care of you. Oh, did I well, you poor child. And I'll make all arrangements for your daddy's burial. Oh, thank you. All right, let's get busy, Carson. Now, where did you say this barn is? There. Why, it's right back of your store, Kraft. My barn? A meeting place for outlaws? What? <laughs> This is enough to make you suspect that I'm mixed up in this, Carson. As a matter of fact, I have suspected you, Kraft. But I had to change my mind when I saw the Mr. Riders take you prisoner. Yes, one of my men must be at the bottom of this. And I'll soon find out who he is. Good. We'll scout around the barn and see what we can find. Block the secret entrance to the barn. Carson's fooling around there. Carson rescued Kraft, and they've gone to the trading post. What about Fargo? He's dead. Kraft must be at the bottom of this. Back to the trading post, quick! I saw the outlaws come in here. When I followed them in, they had disappeared. There must be a secret exit. We've got to find it.
Yes, the mystery ride. Watch the barn in case Crash should try to escape through the secret exit. Don't make a sound. Wade, you... Do you know him? He was with my pack train when the government gold was stolen. He's going to tell me who the real leader of the gang is. Try and make me. The boys know I'm in here, and they'll come looking for me. By that time, you'll be through talking. Get that rope. Well, Carson, you wouldn't... Yes, I would, unless you tell me what I want to know. Keep him covered. Excitement, boys. Don't try to buck crap. We've come for you. This is your finish. You're wrong, Reynolds. It's your finish. Why, well, you're not smart enough to lead men like these. I was smart enough to turn them against you. And that's exactly why they've got to get rid of you now. Uh, that is, if they care in Fargo's gold. You mean you found out where the gold is, Chief? Exactly. I'm the only man alive that can lead you to it. Grab hold of him, boys. Know how to make him talk, don't we? Hmm. <laughs> Why, the boy don't have to make me talk. <laughs> I'm glad to show them where the gold is. All they've got to do is to choose between you and me. <laughs> Uh, what have you got to offer the boy, Reynolds? I've got a secret worth a half a million dollars. You can't get away with this crap. The men outside are still with me. Come on, speak up. Oh, I can't. He'd kill me if I told. He'll never know. I promise you that. But if you don't speak up... Men coming. Over there by that door. Thank you. 
the outlaws come in here. And when I followed them in, they had disappeared. There must be a secret exit. We've got to find it. Watch the barn in case Crash should try to escape through the secret agent. Don't make a sound. Wade, you. Do you know him? He was with my pack train when the government gold was stolen. He's going to tell me who the real leader of the gang is. Try and make me. The boys know I'm in here, and they'll come looking for me. By that time, you'll be through talking. Get that rope. Well, Carson, you wouldn't... Yes, I would, unless you tell me what I want to know. Keep him covered. come for you. This is your finish. You're wrong, Reynolds. It's your finish. Why, you're not smart enough to lead men like these. I was smart enough to turn them against you. And that's exactly why they've got to get rid of you now. Uh, that is, if they expect to share in Fargo's gold. You mean you found out where the gold is, Chief? Exactly. I'm the only man alive that can lead you to it. Grab hold of him, boys. We know how to make him talk, don't we? Hey. <laughs> Why, the boys don't have to make me talk. <laughs> I'm glad to show them where the gold is. All they've got to do is to choose between you and me. What have you got to offer the man, Reynolds? I've got a secret worth a half a million dollars. I've done more to get the gold than you have, Kraft. Haven't I shared every hardship with you men, carrying out his orders while he sat here in his office for safety? Haven't I fought every battle with you? Why, we never would have had a chance for the gold in the first place. If I hadn't fixed it so Carson would ride ahead and leave us alone with it. Signal. Look, a smoke signal. Carson spotted Indians. He says they're headed this way. Prepare for an attack. Get that gold in that draw. Things go against us. I'll try and get it out the back way. Don't worry, we'll send them off. Good luck, boys. Here they come now. This is our chance.
Everything go all right? No. I've got bad news. The gold's gone. Gone? You mean the curse not smarted you? No, but the scout got wise to us. While we were finishing them off, Fargo got away with the gold. And you didn't follow him? We followed his trail to water. But before we could find it again, the rain came and wiped out his trap. Yeah. Well, that means that Fargo has probably hidden the gold somewhere and gone back to the army post to report. Get back there and stop it. Fargo got out up at the post. But Carson's there. Carson? Alive? Yeah, and he's reporting to the colonel right now. Carson's pretty smart. He may be wise to our game. Here, tear that sleeve off, quick. What's the idea? I haven't got a scheme to get rid of Carson. And then it started to rain. And after the rain had washed away the track, I realized it was useless to continue the search. So I came back here to report. What makes you so sure they weren't killed by Indians? I know the signs too well, Colonel. It was the work of white men. That's a lie. Carson sold us out to the Redskins. Reynolds, let him pass. He led us into an ambush so he could wipe us all out and then steal the gold ship. Why, you low down? Huh. You'd like to kill me, too. So that I can't tell how you murdered the other. You lie, Reynolds. Colonel, you know I didn't want to start out with men like this. Men I couldn't trust. It's not in reason, Carson, that this man should bring such grave charges against you without foundation. I have no choice but to hold you for trial on charges of murder and treason. It wasn't my fault if Carson escaped. Or if Fargo double-crossed us and hid the gold. What does it matter who hid the gold? The fact still remains... I am the only man alive who knows where it is. You can't get away with this crap. The men outside are still with me. To the barn, quick! Men coming. Over there by that door. You're not hurt? Well, it was coming to him. Let's see if Wade's all right. Shot through the heart. Reynolds must have got him. Here comes the game. What's all this shooting? Who killed Reynolds? We did. It was him or us. All of us. What do you mean? Reynolds and the boss had a showdown. The boss said we'd have to cut Reynolds out of the deal if we want a share of the gold. But the boss hasn't got the gold. No, but he's found where it is. Ah, uh, well, what of it? That's all I say. Oh. When do we get it? We're starting now. The boss is riding with us. Now we'll find out who their leader is. Now you lead the gang to Iron Mountain and start getting the gold out of the cave. I'll be along later, just as soon as I can get away without arousing suspicion. They are going to get the gold. We've got to follow them. Worried Haven't got time to talk to you, Johnny. Those men are after the gold, and we've got to trail them. But you'll be killed. Wait a minute. 
matter, kid? My wife's been looking everywhere for you. You shouldn't have left the house while those outlaws are in town. Oh, Mr. Carter, please do something. Kit Carson and the Comas have gone after the mystery writer. <laughs> Don't you worry about Kit Carson. He can take care of himself. Johnny! Johnny! There's my wife calling you now. All right, she's coming. Carson and the young chief are trailing the gang. Get your men and go after them. Carson must be out of the way before we uncover the gold. Go ahead. You can't go out now. Trevor's more credit. I can't stop to eat. Carson's interfering with the boss's plan. Well, you ain't going after him alone. Well, I should say not. Pete. In a minute. Here comes your missus, Carter. The Fargo girl must have heard us talking. She stole a horse. Which way is she heading? The North Trail. Looks like she's gone to warn Carson. We'll stop her. Come on. Right along the ridge and keep them in view. Look! Oh, it's Johnny! Well, what the... the men chasing her? We mustn't shoot or the missing riders will be after us. Quick, down that draw.
along the ridge and keep them in view. Look! Oh, it's Johnny! Well, what the... Men chasing her! We mustn't shoot her. The Mr. Riders will be after us. Quick, down that draw. Three right back and see who fired that shot. Let you go on without us? Not a chance. We ain't letting you get out of our sight until we get our share of the gold. You said it. Do as I tell you or we I... We ain't taking orders from nobody but Kraft. He's our boss. That's where the shot must have come from. Yeah, must have shot at a wolf or something. Another fool settler headed for Beaver Valley. Here's where we kill two birds with one stone. Kraft wants to keep the settlers out of this country. And we can certainly use that wagon to carry away the gold. Good idea. He's got a head out him after all. They won't want to settle around this country when we get through with them. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. I ran their horses off. They're headed back to the trading post. Good work. They can't bother us anymore, even if they do get loose.
Pull up there! Don't start any trouble with them, son. Howdy, strangers. Are you all going our way? Cut that talk. We want that wagon. You can't mean that. It's all we've got in the world. Wait. Let me go first. They've stolen the wagon. We must be getting close to where the gold is hidden. Well, that's far enough. Put on the scuts, those wheels with a couple of rocks. Whoa! Get the stuff out of that wagon to make room for the gold. There's a cave behind those bushes. Father risked his life to hide it there, Johnny. We're not going to let him steal it. But we can't stop all those men. We're not far from Beaver Valley. The settlers know you and the Comas will guide you there. I'll try and keep the Mr. Rider from running away until you get back with help. But they'll kill you on sight. Don't you worry about me. They won't see me. By the time they get the gold loaded on the wagon, I can slip in and send the wagon over the cliff. But you... There's no time to lose, Johnny. Please be careful. I'll get Kit Carson for this. If it's the last thing I do. You talk big, don't you? You'd run a mile if you saw Carson. I ain't scared of Carson. Or anything that walks on two legs. I... Get away! You! Hey, don't blow that thing on me! <laughs> Horses! Somebody's coming! The ball! It's crap! what happens when I send you out to stop a baby, eh? We almost had her, boss, but Carson and the young chief... Ah, cut out the alibis. I figured what had happened when I met your horses heading for home. You. Now, Carson won't dare attack the mystery riders alone. He's sure to come back here for help. That's going to be your chance to square yourself. Look, boss. There's a the girl now. And she's with her. Uh, I'll go and stop him. Quick. Here, Pete. Burn the wind iron mountain. Warn the boys against Carson. Yes, sir.
They're trying to give us a slip on one horse. Double back and pick up their trail. sent me to warn you. Carson's on your trail. We'll be ready for him. Some of you take your rifles and stand guard around the camp. Shoot first and ask questions afterward. Johnny Fargo, what are you doing here? He needs your help. Carson in trouble? No, but the mystery writers have located the government gold and are getting away with it. We ain't forgot how Kit Carson saved us from the Indians, have we, boy? You oh, have 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 Well, then get your guns and your horses, quick. Where is Carson? At Iron Mountain. It'll be dark before we get there. to attack. The oh, Indians? Yeah, yeah. Look, smoke signals. That'll do for here. We got to start more smokes on the other side of the mountain. Keep those settlers worried. Sure is a slick idea, Kraft. They're all around us. Get to your post, men, and prepare for an attack. But Mr. Carson's expecting... We can't help Carson now. Our wives and children come first. We've plenty of time to prepare for them. They probably won't attack till after dark. It's a false alarm about Carson. He wouldn't dare show himself around here. Lucky for him he didn't show up while I was on guard. Hey, hurry up and finish eating, boys. We've got to get moving. boys that are handling the wagon had better get started. Wagon! 
Johnny Fargo, what are you doing here? Kit Carson sent me. He needs your help. Carson in trouble? No, but the mystery writers have located the government gold and they're getting away with it. We ain't forgot how Kit Carson saved us from the Indians, have we, boys? You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then get your guns and your horses, quick. Where is Carson? At Iron Mountain. It'll be dark before we get there. That'll do for here. We gotta start more smokes on the other side of the mountain. Keep those settlers worried. Sure is a slick idea, Kraft. They're all around us. Get to your post, men, and prepare for an attack. But Mr. Carson's expecting... We can't help Carson now. Our wives and children come first. We've plenty of time to prepare for them. They probably won't attack till after dark.
I'll start a smoke here. You go ahead and start one on the other ridge. So it's you who's making the smoke signals. You're coming back to the settlement with me. You mean to say those smoke signals were fakes and there ain't any Indians in the woods? I saw no signs of Indians. Hey, what was your game? Who put you up to this? I talk, and you can't make me. Oh, I can't, eh? We'll see about this. We haven't time for that, Mr. Kraft. We've got to go help Carson. Well, you're probably right. Lock this man up. We'll question him later. We're riding, boys, and we've got a hard fight ahead of us. And I'll ride to the trading post and bring all of my men. We'll wipe out these mystery riders once and for all. And we'll make the Southwest safe for settlers. the wind to Iron Mountain. Warn the gang, the settlers are coming. But they can't get there before dark. Darkness makes no difference. You've got to beat them there. Get going now. It's a false alarm about Carson. He wouldn't dare show himself around here. Lucky for him, he didn't show up while I was on guard. Hey, hurry up and finish eating, boys. We've got to get moving. handling the wagon, it better get started. in that wagon when it went over. How do you know he didn't jump? Hey, some of you boys get your rope. Hey, be careful of that powder.
careful how you handle the cags, boys. Some of them may be busted open. Come take this one. Funny we haven't found any trace of Carson's body. He must have been thrown out and rolled into the bushes. We've been all through the bushes, and there isn't a trace of him. I'll bet he got away. Nothing of that kind. I know he was in that wagon when it went over. What's that? Run for your lives! He's up here somewhere. Don't let him get away. Don't try to call your men. Carson! Oh, you can't get away with this. My men will soon know they are your men. You're the leader of this outlaw gang. Well, the settlers will make short work of you when they get here. The settlers? 
They know that you tried to drive them out of the country by stirring up the Indians against them. They'll hang you, Morgan, just as sure as the sun rises tomorrow. But I... I didn't stir up the Indians. I'm not the boss. I'm only one of the gang. Who is your leader? Come on, speak up. The settlers will be here any minute. And I hate to think what they'll do to you. I can't tell you. It would mean my life if I did. It'll mean your life if you don't. The settlers are coming. Get out, quick. What did I tell you? You'd better talk quick. We can't leave now. The gold's at the bottom of the canyon. It'll take us all night to get it out. The settlers have to come through the gap. We can lay for them there. Get that ticket we took off the wagon. Yeah, that'll stop them. That's a good we'll idea. You'll never know what hit them. I'm too late to save my friend. You'd better start praying now. I tell you, you'd better talk quick. We can't leave now. The gold's at the bottom of the canyon. 
It'll take us all night to get it out. The settlers will have to come through the gap. We can lay for them there. Get that keg of powder we took off the wagon. Yeah, well, that'll stop them. That's a good We'll idea. never know what hit them. I'm too late to save my friend. You'd better start praying now. you taking it off a chance, Bob. Once Carson gets his hands on that Don't gold... forget that Carson is wanted by the United States government. I've sent to the Army post for the troopers. By tomorrow morning, Carson will be out of our way. That's flat. Pretty key. Good Here they come, fellas. Get out of the way. Sounds like they're running away. Then they've got the gold. They haven't had time. The gold is still at the bottom of the cliff. If you'll help me get it to the trading post... The trading post? Why, that's where the mystery writers report to their leader. That's just why we're going to take it there. To bait a trap for the man we want to catch. Carson? Yes. You're under arrest for stealing the government gold. I didn't steal the government gold. We just recovered from the men who did. What? You got the gold back? Every ounce of it. And I'm happy to turn it over to you. We've got to work fast, Morgan, or that fool will have Carson gold. Now, I'm going to take you out there and... Uh... I put my neck in a noose, so oh, no, you do. It's Carson that I'm after, you fool. Now, here's how we're going to do it. Now you do exactly as I say, and then I'll get you out later. Now, I'll pretend to capture you and... But my orders are to bring you back, Carson, and I've got to do it. But I tell you, the real criminal is head of the mystery riders, and I'm hot on his trail. If you'll give me a few days, I'll clear up this mystery, capture the real criminal, and make the Southwest safe for settlers. You hear? Keep him up there. There you are, Sergeant. The leader of the Mr. Riders. Found him clerking in my store to cover up his tracks, but uh, Carson and I got wise to him. 
Why you have the nerve to come back here? That's the man you're after? He was leading the mystery riders today when they murdered two of the settlers. He's the man we want. Uh, come on! Right there. Come out here. This man is my prisoner. So you're trying to hang it on to me, are you, Carson? Well, you're not going to get away with it. You want to know who murdered the settlers? It was him. He's the real leader of the mystery riders. Why, well, you're lying to save yourself, Morgan. Why, we all know Carson. Yeah, and... but you don't know him the way we do. He's been pulling the wool over your eyes. He... Carson's the leader of the mystery riders, and we can prove it. The riders took me prisoner to make my daddy tell where he hid the gold. That's true. Kit Carson and I were watching the mystery riders when some of them brought her out of the trading post and put her on a horse. They've got Fargo's little girl. Hmm. Yes. She's only dressed as a boy. We've got to help her somehow. We'll follow them to the death. Somebody's following him. It's Carson and the young sheep. This is our chance to put Carson out of the way. Three men pull out. Make sure we haven't been followed. and the Carson. Yeah. Now we can join up with the mystery riders. Nothing doing. We can't tell who might get why. We'll follow them to the hideout. They thought we were dead, and they rode away to their hideout where we followed them later. Do you think the mystery riders would have tried to kill Carson if he had been their leader? It's easy enough to talk. But you men know what you saw tonight. Wasn't Carson there with the rest of us riders? Yes, he was there. But if he's what you say, why did he send for us? I'll tell you why. You heard that explosion, didn't you? 
And if it hadn't gone off a mite too soon, none of you'd be here now. That was Carson's trap to wipe you all out. Why, you lying? You better lock them both up quick, Sergeant. No telling what may happen. They can't, they can't. Stand back. These men are prisoners of the United States Army. Where can I lock them up till morning? I have a cabin you can use. Oh, uh, you're going to need some place to store the gold overnight. You're welcome to use my office. Thanks. Lend a hand to unload the gold and get it inside. Come on. safe in there. Then you can make yourselves comfortable out here when you're standing guard. There you are. Careful how you open those kegs. We don't want anybody to know they've been tampered with. Why can't we just take the gold and clear out now? Because the boss wants the soldiers to leave here thinking he's still got the gold. Yeah. And all they'll find is this old iron that we're going to put into these kegs. <laughs> didn't do it. We're going to try and find the guilty man. Whoever he is, he's a dangerous criminal. You mustn't take any chances on my account. Come on, let's get started. to begin is the barn where we saw the mystery riders disappear. It's locked. You keep watch. I'll go in through the lock. to the barn. Get those bales of fur out and onto the wagon as quick as you can.
Somebody's been in here. Look. Get your rifle ready. to the barn. Get those bales of fur out and onto the wagon quick as you can. Somebody's been in here, look. Get your rifle ready.
Come on. We're going after the soldiers. They haven't got the gold. It's in the barn. Their wire's just switching the gold. We'd better tell the boss. Here. Hey. Hey, where was all that shooting? The young chief found out about the gold, and he and the girl have gone to warn the soldiers. That means the soldiers will break open the kegs and find out how we've tricked them. We can hustle the gold into a wagon and be far away from here before they get back. No, wagon tracks are too easy to follow. It's all right, though. I know how we can get out the gold. Now, I'll go get the mystery writers. You fellows get back to the barn and... You've been tricked. That isn't gold you're carrying. How do you know? Because it's in the barn at the trading post. Nicole must saw it. Break in one of those kegs. Nothing but all iron, Sergeant. Back to the trading post. Anything wrong, boss? Ah, the troopers are on their way back to the post. We've got to change our plans. Now listen, here's what we'll do. You men get on your horses. Oh, boys! If they left any kind of a trail, we'd better not trample it. Maybe they didn't have time to take the gold away. No such luck. They're far from here with it by this time. They've taken it away in a wagon. Here's the wagon track, Sergeant. Any of you people see that wagon when it drove away? Sure we saw it. It had a load of furs on it that took out of the barn. That's it. The gold was hidden in bales of fur. It won't take us long to catch up to a loaded wagon. Boyd, you locked the prisoners up where they were last night. But, Sergeant, you're dealing with desperate men. You'll need all your troopers. You've got to let me help. And give you a chance to escape, eh? I'll give you my word. Take him, old Boyd. I'll help with the prisoners, Sergeant. Get going. I'll follow the trail for you, Sergeant. Get in there. Now, don't strike until you can make a clean job out of it. Nobody must ever know what happened to the soldiers. All right.
May I talk to Mr. Carson? Yes, you can talk to him through the window. Johnny. I came to see if there wasn't something I could do for you. Well, that's mighty kind of you to take so much trouble. There's one thing you can do. Find Kraft, keep your eyes on him, but don't let him see you. Do you think Mr. Kraft took the gold? I certainly do. I've known for some time that the Mr. Riders use a secret passage that leads to the headquarters of their chief. That passage must lead to Kraft's office. Did you see it? No, but the gold disappeared from Kraft's office and was found in the barn. And the only way that it could have got there was through that secret passage. Whatever you do, don't let Kraft know that you suspect him. I won't. I'll pretend. I must be They're going away. I thought they were coming to get you. Don't you see where they're heading? They're after the troopers. I'll try and warn them. You'll never make it. I've got to get out of here somehow. Look out! We've got to warn the troopers. The mystery riders are after them. Never mind changing the subject. What were you two fighting about? I tell you, your pals will be cut to pieces unless you do something quick. My orders are to keep you here, and that's what I'm going to do. Take him up and lay him on the bunk. Take him up. You all right? Yes, I only screamed to help you. You're a great girl. The wagon. Here they come. We'd better duck. Mr. 
riders are coming to ambush you. They're close behind. We've got to turn the tables on them quick. But they're too many for us. We'll take them by surprise. Shut them on both sides, of course. We'll bottle them up. Well done, Sergeant. Sorry I can't stay to help you bring them in. Where are you going, Carson? Going back to the trading post to get their leader. Here, return that rifle. Did you get there on time? The Mr. Riders will never ride again. But you better look out. The man you were fighting with got away. Oh, don't mind him. Has Kraft shown up yet? Yes, he's in his office now. You wait out here. Come from? I have been helping the troopers round up the mystery riders. The mystery riders? Captured? Well, that's splendid news. I've always believed in you, Carson. If ever there's anything that I can do to help you establish your innocence, I... That's why I came here. I believe you can help me find the real leader of the mystery riders. Well, Nothing would please me more. Tell me, have you any idea who he is? I know who he is. Uh, you do? Yes. And what's more, I can prove it on him. Well, then, uh, in what way can I be of help to you? By showing me how you got the gold out of this room into the barn. Riders will never ride again. But you better look out. The man you were fighting with got away. Oh, don't mind him. 
Has Kraft shown up yet? Yes. He's in his office now. You wait out here. Come from. I have been helping the troopers round up the mystery riders. The mystery riders? Captured? Well, that's splendid news. I've always believed in you, Carson. If ever there's anything that I can do to help you establish your innocence, I. That's why I came here. I believe you can help me find the real leader of the mystery riders. Well, nothing would please me more. Tell me, have you any idea who he is? I know who he is. Uh, you do? Yes. And what's more, I can prove it on him. Well, then, uh, in what way can I be of help to you? By showing me how you got the gold out of this room into the barn. Morgan! Did you get Kraft too, Sergeant? Kraft? Why, what's he done? But he's the real head of the Mr. Riders. Why, he can't be, or they'd never have taken him prisoner. Well, that's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out either. Suppose you tell us, Morgan. I ain't talking. You will if you know what's good for you. Somebody's gonna hang as leader of the Mystery Riders. And all the evidence I've got points to you. Kraft can't help you now, Morgan. And he wouldn't if he could. He ran out and left you to take the blame. I ain't gonna swing for that double-crosser. I'll tell you what you want to know. Kraft's the leader, all right. And the reason we took him prisoner was because he tried to ditch us to get the gold for himself. We left a couple of the boys to guard Fargo while we were hunting for Carson. And Kraft and his killer crept up on them. Now, you fire first and then lay low. Why, Mr. Kraft! Oh, then it was you who... Well, I... How did you know they were holding me prisoner? Well, Fargo. Yeah, I saw the mystery riders take you away, and I followed them. And when I saw you were left alone with only two of them, I, I saw my chance. What? I don't know how to thank you for... Ah, don't thank me. Well, those men are outlaws and ought to be killed. They're a menace to the country. Now, tell me, why were they holding you? To make me show them when I hid the government gold. Gold? Oh, you mean the shipment that was lost when Kit Carson's pack train was wiped out? Yeah. Well, uh, what makes them think you know where it is? I was one of the pack trains. Oh. And when the men double-crossed Carson, I hid the gold to keep them from stealing it. Oh, I see. Well, we'd better get out of here before the other men return. Later on, you and I can come back and recover the gold for the government. I'd like to get a hold of Kit Carson first. Yeah. 
So would I. I got a signal from him just now. He's somewhere around here. Well, maybe we'll come across him. Uh, my horse is right over here. to tell the gang about this. Hey, look! What happened, Dave? Double-crossed us. Shot Rollins and me. Crap. Shot his own men? Yeah. Pretended he's rescuing Fargo just to get on the right side of him. You hear that, boys? That means that Kraft is out to get the gold for himself. After we've done all the dirty work. Are we going to let him get away with it? No! And we'll beat Kraft at his own game and get the gold for ourselves. There's the double crosser now. And he's got Fargo and Carson with him. What's Kraft running away for? Do you suppose he suspects anything? No, he's just fooling Fargo and Carson. Well, he ain't fooling us. Come on. Can't do him any good. Well, I ain't leaving Carson. Then get under cover or we'll all get killed. Huh? Take cover, boys. Signaling us. He's playing right into our hands. <laughs> well done, boys. Well, Carson's finished and Parker's in there. Something hit him on the head, but he'll recover. <laughs> All right, some of you take him to the hideout and lock him up. The rest of you come with me and we'll go to the post and get the girl. What do you mean, Wade? Don't touch that gun. Oh. Well, that's your game, huh? Figuring on getting the gold for yourself, eh? Yeah. You can't double-cross us and get away with it. You're through, Kraft. We know that you murdered Dave and Rollins just to make a play for Fargo. And what's more, we know it was you who killed the Cheyenne chief to stir the Indians up against the settlers. Well, what are you going to do about it? We're going to give you a taste of your own medicine. We'll let the Cheyennes do the dirty work for us. Hmm. You fools. How far do you think you'll get without me to lead you? No use arguing, crap. You're through. Take him away, boys. But crap was too smart for us. He got this rid of the gold from Fargo and then poisoned him. What? Crap killed Fargo? Yes. So he'd be the only man alive that knew where the gold was. That's how he got the whip hand over us again. Sergeant, we've got to find Kraft and make him sure where he hid the gold. He'd die before he'd show you. Maybe so. But he's going to show you where he hid it. 
What are you aiming to do, Carson? You don't even know where Kraft is. No, but I know how to find him. The mystery riders are going to ride once more, and Morgan's going to lead them. And remember, Morgan, we're going to be riding behind you. And if you don't do exactly what we say... Sergeant, get your men in the mystery uniforms. Ready, Sergeant? Right. Let's get moving. Remember what I told you, Morgan. Where's the gang, boss? Well, uh, the troopers got him. The game's up. Carson's sure to bring the soldiers out here to find me. Now you keep a sharp look out there while I prepare a little welcome for them. Boss, I thought you said the gang was captured. Here they come. What happened, Morgan? Carson told me the mystery writers were captured. Carson lied. The boys killed the troopers and came into town looking for you. Good. Now we can go into town and get rid of Carson. Uh, not so fast, Pat. The boys all feel it's time we got our share of the gold. Why, oh, sure, boys. That's no more than fair. It's coming to you. I've got the gold hidden right over here in the... Uh, right back here in the rock cabin. If you come with me, we'll divvy up right now. All right, there you are, boys, right behind that door. Plenty of gold for all of you. Where'd you 
find it? In the cave under Mr. Kraft's barn. Look out! Kraft getting away! You'll never take me alive. But you're going with me, Carson. It's a long way to the coast, Carson. I wish we were safely there with all this gold. Don't worry. No one is liable to attack us while Nokomis and his warriors are riding with us. Goodbye, <laughs> Johnny. Are you ready, Sergeant? Ready! 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 Forward! Forward!